All right, this video is going to cover part A of the student record for your response question. And they give a description here at the start and how it works. I always look at the examples. I think hopefully you've had a chance to read over this first um, if you're watching this video. Uh, but I always use the examples kind of as, as a help here. So they're doing a different way of averaging the scores where if the student doesn't improve each test, then they're just going to average all the scores together. So this first example, they drop between test two and test three, indexes one and two. And so in that case, they average all of them versus the second one, they did improve even though these two are tied, that's still considered improve, improvement. And so there, they're only going to average the back half. So starting at index n divided by two to the end. So in this one, um, it would be length of five. So you would divide that by two and then truncate to get two. So it's going to be from this position on. So position, so if it goes zero, one, two, three, four, positions two, three, four, the ones that are average there. Next one, last example here is they did improve each time. And so you just do halfway and then it's just going to be positions three and no, zero, one. So it should be two and three. They get averaged uh, in that example. All right. And so you're going to have to write, that's kind of the big picture of it. And then they have you write some methods along the way. All right. So here's the student record um, class file. And a huge part is to note that their scores are scored. Their scores are stored in this one dimensional array here of ints. Right. So all of these methods, I think, are going to make use of this uh, array called uh, scores, right? In this first one, we have to average, or we're not gonna average all of the scores, we're just gonna average from the, this position to the last position. So just to give you a visual of it, here's one possible set of scores. This would be a non-improving set. And so if you called the method in part A with first of two and last of four, you would average these three scores. Okay, so it, basically we're just going to loop from these indexes. I would start at first and end, go, I would go less than or equal to last so that we just hit all of these. That to me, you could also do less than last plus one, but I would just do less than or equal to last. We're going to loop from basically first to last, right, for whatever they pass in, right? Like last might be, say, six or something. Then we want to loop from two to six. Okay, and then the weird part about this is when you do the average, right, we're going to add all these up and we're going to divide by however many values we have. So I made a variable that counts how many numbers you are averaging um, and just increased it by one in my loop. But you could also say, well, like, don't you know that this is, you know, from first and last, how many values you have? The tricky part from that is you would think if first is two and last is six, you would think that gives you six minus two and that would be four values, but that's not actually true. If you count, there's one, two, three, four, five numbers here. So you actually have to do last minus first, but then add one to that total, right? Similarly, just to make some more sense of this, if we went back and said last was at four, that would actually be three numbers. So you'd have to do four minus two plus one to figure out that that's three numbers. Okay, so we need two variables, one that keeps track of the total of the scores, and then another one that keeps track of uh, how many values there are, right? Or you could do the minus plus one trick I was doing. And again, in part A here, what's kind of weird is we're not actually doing the is it improving and all that parts of it yet. That comes later, right? So we're not doing the n divided by 2 and any of that stuff yet, right? So in part A, all we're really doing here is just summing, right? So we're going to sum from score in the scores array from first to last. So we need to loop an index i from first to last and then sum the scores and return the average. All right, and because I always get freaked out about, about truncate, truncated division, I'm going to use doubles here because our average could be like a decimal amount. So I'm going to do the total, our total scores, which starts at zero. And then a second double that keeps track of like number of scores in our average. Also start that at zero. And then I'm just going to loop. So like we talked about in I, no, not zero. We're going to start at first. And we're going to go while I is less than or equal to last. And plus plus I. So that loops from positions first to last. 
right? And then each time we want to update total. So total plus equals the array. So it's called scores again. And then position i, whatever position we're on. And then we just do increase the number of scores by one, right? So that we can then just return the total divided by num scores. And because both of these are doubles, we don't have to worry about the weird truncation deal. All right, that should do it for part A. Hopefully that makes sense. There's other videos for part B and C.